A warm welcome to all the subscribers of Biotechnica. Today we are back with CSIR Net Life Science Unit 1 Important Previous Year Questions with Solution. And today we are discussing questions, important CSIR questions from a very important topic that is enzyme kinetics, right? Since enzymology is huge, it has several aspects. From enzymology, you get theoretical questions uh, about the concepts of enzyme and substrate binding. Also, you get questions regarding inhibition, different regulation, allosteric feedback mechanisms. Uh, here, we will be discussing only regarding our um, enzyme kinetics since it will be a small topic. Okay. The first question it is from the uh, June 2021 exam. The enzyme alkaline phosphatase was tested for its catalytic activity using the substrate paranitrophenoyl phosphate. So KM and Vmax uh, obtained is given. What you have to find out is the following option represents the initial velocity of a reaction at a substrate concentration of 10, 10 millimolar okay so which out of this following options basically you have to find out the initial velocity at a substrate concentration of 10 millimolar now for any such numerical type of questions what you have to note is what is given k here is given v max is given and substrate concentration is also given so what you have to find out is v0 this is a pretty straightforward question here you have to use the formula so these are the given points and uh, always for numerical questions you must ensure that the unit conversions are done properly. Now every this was in millimolar so this was brought in micromolar okay. Vmax was already given in micromolar. Substrate was also given in millimolar that is why it is brought to 10 to the power 3 micromolar okay. Then we know that the Michaelis maintain kinetics we have the Michaelis maintain equation v0 is equal to vmax into s divided by km plus s okay so where v0 is the initial velocity of reaction vmax is the maximum rate and substrate concentration is the concentration of the substrate km is the Michaelis constant so from here everything is given just v0 you have to find out there is no big deal over here just that you have to do the unit conversions properly if you substitute all the values and solve, you will get the question as 50 micromole per minute, right? Then there was a question again in June 2021. What is the fold difference between V0 at substrate concentration is equal to Km and V0 at substrate concentration is equal to 1000 Km, okay? So, uh, where initial velocity, substrate and Km is Michaelis constant, everything is given. So you have to find out that what will be the velocity ratio considering these two substrates. Okay, if you consider these two substrates, what will be the velocity ratio? That is what they are asking. How you will calculate? Basically, you have to find out again through the MM equation, right? When substrate is equal to Km, you have to find out the V0. So simple, in the Michaelis maintain equation, instead of substrate, you have to put Km. That's all. And then you just find out what will be V0. Okay. So V01, that is for the first case. If you just, uh, instead of substrate, you have put Km over here. Right. So Km, Km will cancel and V01 is coming to Vmax by 2. Okay. So V01, you can say 0 0.5 Vmax. When substrate is 1000 Km, then V0 would become uh, v02 is again instead of substrate now you put 1000 km here also substrate you put 1000 km then solve the equation again km gets cancelled so v02 will be vmax into 0 0.99 or 0 0.99 vmax so you have got the two v0s you just have to find out the fold difference take a ratio v02 divided by v01 so dividing this you will be getting 1.98 answer so such questions all you have to uh, keep in mind is that you must do the calculations properly that is the conversions you can do and also the different units powers every calculation should be correctly done okay then a recent question was there in uh, December 2023 okay so here what is the v0 by vmax ratio for an enzymatic reaction when substrate is 3 km and 9 km respectively so see here also they have asked for a ratio right 
the re uh, the responses are here let's look at how to solve the question we are again using michaelis menten equation over here now in first case they had said substrate is 3k substituting this value in mm equation instead of substrate you just write 3k in the equation so you will be getting km gets cancelled v0 by v max ratio they have asked in the previous question they had asked only for v0 ratio but here you have to find out v0 by v max so from this equation itself you find out what is v0 by v max so km being cancelled it will be 0.75 in the second case substrate is 9 km so you have to substitute this in the mm equation instead of substrate you have to put 9 km 9 km again you have to bring v max here since it is in the numerator you can easily bring it without any calculation uh, mistakes okay so v max into 9 by 10 km so v v0 by is equal to 9 v max by 10 km gets cancelled in numerator denominator so then v max you bring it to the other side so v v0 by v max will be 9 by 10 or 0.9 okay so that's why these are the answers in both the cases 0.75 and 0.9 so that's why the answer over here is option 4 right as you can see the consistency in all exams the same type of questions are coming which by which you would have understood how important this topic is let us discuss a different type of question regarding graphs right so the hill equation and its plot describes this was a question in november 2020 following enzyme kinetic behavior so one is regarding saturation kinetics cooperative kinetics and what is the graph plotted against that is given so which of the following represents correct representations that is what does hill equation stand for okay now if anyone would know about hill equation it is a plot of y by 1 by y so basically this okay log of see we know that michaelis uh, equation and michaelis kinetics we have v0 in the y axis and substrate in the x axis okay but in case of hill equation and there it you have a parabola isn't it but in hill equation you have a straight line graph in that the y axis is log of substrate concentration and the uh, y axis is log of uh, log of uh, y and 1 minus y so y is basically velocity so you can either write uh, y uh, divided by 1 minus y or y you can write it as velocity okay and uh, 1 will be the saturation how much maximum velocity will be there so it will be v max minus v0 so this is what is a hill plot it is basically plotted because of a straight line graph and uh, this is plotted from this equation which is also falling in the category of a straight line graph equation so you have log y 1 minus y is equal to n log s so this is falling under the category of y is equal to mx plus c where whatever we are getting in this value we have to plot it in y axis whatever we are getting in this value we have to take it in x axis then uh, this slope is actually uh, given by m which is n uh, which is n that is the number of sites which are present in the enzyme binding site that is how much degree of cooperativity would be there okay so this equation is in the form of y is equal to mx plus c as i said and if you have no cooperativity then the slope will be 1 which means the value the graph will be just 1 log l values near the region of the curve that crosses the x axis approximate a straight line with slope of 2.8 so this implies that there is maximum cooperativity if n is more than 1 it would mean that the enzyme or the protein it is a cooperative protein okay so that is why we can say hill's plot is for cooperative kinetics and not for saturation kinetic the graph shows that kd for the first oxygen binding is much higher than the kd for the last oxygen binding okay so anyways it's a cooperative kinetics and also we saw it is uh, vi divided by v max minus vi so b and c option 2 is the right answer here right let's discuss one more question from september 2022 this is also regarding graphs only a student was asked to plot a graph representing enzyme kinetic data for initial velocity substrate concentration using any of the equations given below the student used an equation for which 
neither x axis nor y axis had independent variables so which of the following equations might uh, the students would have used so this is actually not such an easy question if you know that there are many types of uh, slopes that you have in enzyme kinetics one is the michaelis menten equation this is the formula for it and this is the uh, this is the graph for it okay then you have the line weaver burke equation so michaelis menten has v and s in the y and x axis respectively line weaver burke plot has 1 by v and 1 by s respectively then there is something called as haynes wolf plot and ad hofstede plot okay so haynes wolf plot has substrate by velocity in y axis and substrate in the x axis now ad hofstede plot first of all it's a negative type of plot as you can see the slope is negative here in the y axis we have v0 whereas in the x axis we have v0 by s okay so they are asking that which of the following uh, the student used an equation neither x axis nor y axis has independent values that means both uh, whenever you have such negative statements you can cancel the negative part okay so independent is negative neither is negative now you can read directly student used an equation where x axis and y axis has dependent variables okay so the student used independent variables neither in x and y axis which means he used dependent variables in both axis now it could not have been lb plot okay so first of all this first one is for lb plot you see it is falling in the uh, line weaver berg plot equation okay which is a straight line graph equation right so whenever you have equations like this you can if it is given like this it's fine it is easy to interpret but if you have equations like this it is better to write it in the form which you are habituated to see more okay so since this is a line weaver burke equation which has 1 by s in x axis so in x axis it is having 1 by s right and substrate is an independent variable so this you must know that substrate is an independent variable so if either of the axis has substrate then the student would not have used it isn't it now uh, he could not have used second as well as this equation is for hens wolf plot which also has s in the uh, x axis okay so this is for hens wolf plot and uh, then you have this uh, fourth option this is anyways for michaelis menten by looking at it only you can say v0 is equal to v max into s divided by km plus s so it could not used fourth as this equation is for mm mm also has substrate in x axis which means he must have used the third equation which is for the ad hofstede plot in which neither x axis nor y axis represent independent variable so both are dependent on the reaction rate so as you can see it is dependent on the reaction rate isn't it so that is why this was the one which he might have used again this is only a small portion of enzymes you have other uh, parts of enzymes which are equally important from csr point of view so my suggestion for today is don't even think of skipping enzymology if you are attempting to write your csr exam follow biotechnica channel and subscribe for more updates like this thank you everyone